What's up guys, it's your girl Daniqua Monet coming at you guys with another video. So today I decided to post this video and I wanted to come on here and give some transparency about my journey, about my YouTube journey and also about my journey that as it relates to business. So I wanted to first start off by saying, so I had created a YouTube page back in 2016 and the YouTube page was uh, called Forever Daniqua Monet. I'm going to include a picture in the clip so that you can see um, the banner and everything that was on that YouTube page. Funny thing is, is that I started this YouTube page in hopes of showing people how I got my hair company started, favorite products, and teaching them how to properly care for their hair extensions. Well, little did I know, anything that does not have the proper resource or if you don't properly plan something, then it does not work. So, I had created this YouTube page. I had posted two videos and I'm sitting back thinking to myself like, oh, the subscribers and the views are just going to come. So, no research, no planning at all had went into this YouTube page at all. And the two videos was a resort of poor planning like nothing had been planned nothing had been wrote down i didn't have any goals for this youtube page again like i said i just was thinking like oh the subscribers and the views are gonna come fast forward to april of 2019 I created a new YouTube page and at this time that I had all from the other YouTube page, I sat back and I decided to uh, research how to create a YouTube channel. I um, researched all the things that I needed that would make my YouTube successful. I researched it. So how to um, create the video, get the feedback that I wanted it to get. So I sat down and I planned out weeks at a time. I would plan out contents. Don't be afraid to fail don't be afraid to fail also don't be afraid to start over because I could have easily said I'm not gonna do YouTube again I'm just gonna leave it where it's at and that was just that but I took the time to perfect my craft and to learn and to go back and teach myself those things that I needed to get my YouTube successful one thing I want to note is that what might be defined as success to somebody, it may not be defined as success to you. For me, I would I would rather have loyal supporters, so a small amount of subscribers or a small amount of followers versus me having thousands of subscribers or something like that does that, that does not engage with my content. Always remember that slow and steady wins the race. You are in competition with nobody. You are in competition with yourself. So take the time to perfect your craft. You may not know everything from the beginning, but don't be afraid to start. Just get started, but make sure you do the research. And when you do do the research, make sure you know your who, what, and how. Who is my target audience? What do I want them to know about my brand? How will I help them? And then also know your niche. Like know what, what, what makes you different from other people. What makes you stand out from the other people that's in the same industry as you. Most importantly, stay in your own lane. There could be a million, listen, there could be a million hair companies or anything out here. Always remember, but there's nobody doing it like you. I think about this all the time. I see people say on social media all the time, there's a million people selling hair, there's a million people doing eyelashes, but they're not doing it the way that I'm doing it. They're not going to do it the way that you do it. Don't be afraid to intervene in an industry that million people is already in. When you go in the grocery store, you think about it. There's a million bread companies. There are millions of bread companies being sold in the store that already has their own bread company. What are you afraid for? You shouldn't be afraid to do it either. I sit back and I think about it. When I first started my new YouTube channel, I didn't even have a ring light. I would make sure that I would record my videos during the daytime and use the natural sunlight at the window in the corner of my living room to make sure I had the light for my videos when I did not have a ring light. I started off with a small tripod that was $2.89 and the handle on my suitcase I would wrap the tripod around the handle on my suitcase and that's how I would shoot my videos. 
And the reason why it worked for me was because I was determined and I wasn't afraid to start. I wasn't afraid to start without a fancy camera. I wasn't afraid to start without a, uh, out a ring light. You know what I did? I utilized what I had at the moment until I ordered that ring light, until I ordered a camera. So, like, don't be afraid to start with what you have. If you look around in your house, I promise you, you have something today that can get you where you need to be. The result of my first YouTube channel failing was the fact that at the time, I was also afraid to promote myself. Through and by the time that I went from 2016 starting that first YouTube channel to now starting this YouTube channel, well, I'm not afraid to promote myself. I think about things this way. If you are afraid of what people are gonna think or what people are gonna say about something that you are doing in business, then it's a possibility that it will not work for you. Simply because if you are afraid to promote yourself and let people know that this is something that you are doing, how else will you get recognized? You, there's other ways to get recognized. Maybe, maybe people will see your video. That's a big maybe. But if you are not promoting your your business or your social medias or your content that you are putting out, if you are not promoting it on your page, you then there's a possibility that somebody might not see it i think about it this right here if you are sitting on an idea and you have a business that you want to start there's somebody in the world that's going without the content that you have not produced although there's a million people in the world doing hair that's doing lashes that is doing business branding that is doing marketing there's still something particularly about you that makes you different from the other people that's in the industry. Somebody somewhere is sitting back waiting on you to produce that business, to produce that content, because they're looking specifically for your personality, what you have, what you bring to the table. Don't sit back on your gift to make nobody else comfortable. Share your work, share your business, share your content, because the one or two things will happen. You have the people that's on your social media that they will begin to share your stuff anyway. Or you have people on your social media that will delete themselves. And when people begin to delete themselves off of your pages because you sharing your stuff too much, you know what that means? They, they was not meant to be there anyway. They was not meant to be there anyway. It's just that simple. Another thing to keep in mind is this. Stay teachable. I'm always a student first. I never want to be the person in the room who knows the most. I don't. I never want to be the most educated person in the room. I want to be in a room where I'm consistently learning from people, where I'm continuously being able to ask people questions. You know something that I don't know. And that's the thing I love about environments that, that, that continuously produce room for you to be able to grow in. If you are the smartest person in the room, you are in the wrong room. I never want to be the smartest person in the room. I always want to be in an environment where I can learn, where I can learn from people. That's why it's best to be around people whose language is higher than yours. <clears throat> I ain't afraid to be the person in the room who don't know everything. That means I'm in the right room. But when I begin to be in a room where I'm the, I'm the only one that knows all everything, I need to turn back around. I need to reevaluate the room that I just walked in. It's just that simple. Don't be afraid to produce because of what you think people are going to say. People are going to talk anyway. They are going to talk anyway. So give them something to talk about. I sit back and I think about all the time. Like when I first got started into business in 2016, I needed somebody to give me those, give me tips and give me things on what to do and what not to do. I needed somebody to help me know how to start a YouTube channel and how to be successful in it. But it, nobody was around. So you know what I did? I began to do the research and I became the person in my channel. I plan on giving you guys a lot more videos like this. Most importantly about sharing some of my experiences about what I've seen. Um, while being in business, a lot of losses in business to it by myself. I did it while incorporating God into my business. Your gift will make room for you. I don't care how many people in the industry that you already in. If it's meant for you to be there, your gift will make room for you. Thank guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.